name is Tunde Kelani TK. I'm a filmmaker for many, many years. And it's true that I have chosen the medium of film and cinema to express myself and to tell those stories that I initiate. And the first consideration is my loyalty to the audience. First of all, my role is to entertain the audience and my role is to share you know my experience something that i come across either something that has inspired me like a novel like something literary like the stage you know coming from any source I think my, the perception is that people are already being, dis, you know, alienated from our culture. I think because of several factors, perhaps influence uh, from the barrage of media and globalization. I think the, 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 the I think it's uh, the, our culture is threatened, and unless there was a process of reorientation, we may lose. Uh, begin to lose aspects of our culture and uh, because the for me the concept of what says today has very to do with culture you know so it may be right to say that unless we as Africans as Nigeria look inwards and begin to use aspects you know of our culture we may be losing out On the contrary, I think the number of um, cinemas in Nigeria is increasing every time. You know, in fact, it's a surprise this year because uh, we could be approaching 20 cinemas and more are coming. You know, springing up just not in Lagos but dotted all over the country. You know, so there seems to be a renaissance. There seems to be another awareness and the grooming of a new uh, film audience. With every mall that is coming up everywhere, they're coming with cinemas. The number of screens are increasing, and it's my belief that within the next few years, we will have many cinemas, perhaps single screen cinemas, will spring up in the neighborhoods and not just on the shopping malls. So, yes, I think we are beginning to witness a growth and development in that sector. We have not been able to conquer the problem of piracy because it's everybody's business. I think government should implement all the laws and the public must be educated as to why uh, piracy has to be discouraged. Otherwise, um, there will be no filmmaking left. If we don't recoup investment on the movies, I think it will be disincentive and filmmakers may have to look at other um, content delivery and may not be making more films unless first of all the infrastructure is improved and again piracy is contained other agencies too must come on board and make sure that the producers are protected and piracy doesn't give the country a clean reputation therefore it may even destroy the industry unless we take decisive action and government is part you know, by enforcing the laws, uh, they, if they don't do that, they may be encouraging piracy, uh, which, as a matter of fact, again, is a casualty of advancement in technology. You know, so nothing is safe these days, but the laws um, about intellectual property must be, you know, enacted, and Nigeria must be seen by the world body as doing something about the protection of intellectual property. Look at uh, the impact of media, social media, everybody. There's a concept of sharing where you download a file and you send to your friend. They're not even selling. You know, some of the parties that we're witnessing, people in ignorance and just sharing files. So again, there has to be education about, you know, the new technology and the, uh, the how intellectual property, the protection of intellectual property. So we have to continue to learn all the time. This is an educational process. Everything. Any 
illegal copying and sharing of files denies people of their livelihood and investment. So none is better. It, 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 it definitely is adversely affecting the industry and lives and businesses. Yeah, we can do that because now there seem to be opening windows of opening, opening up for the producers to monetize, uh, you know, one product. The problem we have had in Nigeria is we lack the infrastructure to make the industry sustainable. But all that is changing and we take within some few, few years, then we can say, yes, we are getting there, but we all have to work hard at it. Essentially, Dazi Mirage, as you know, is um, a story, a novel written by Dr. Yenka Ibokari of the University of Ibadan. And we had additional Anke who wrote the screenplay adaptation. It's um, a love story, it's an entertaining love story, but it just has the theme of sickle cell. And I have sickle cell. I'm not a corpse, I can work. We have screened it only twice. We did a premiere in Lagos, and then it was in, featured in Afri, and it was really well received. And for me, that's a bonus, because people seem to enjoy the story, and then take away one or two messages to at least care and support people living with sickle cell disorder, and, um, you know, just to be aware, you know, so that we should, at the end of the film, suggest that we should know our genotype, and not only that, we should attend genetic counseling so that when we make choices, we will be making choices based on information and not ignorance. News flash, mom. I will marry her. I've had enough of your imposing conditions. You cannot marry her. Oh, it's, it's a great story. I don't know. I'm, I don't count awards. The awards are motivations to want to continue to try always to strive to become a better filmmaker.